Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> okay. Let me start the room. Ah, oh, man. Whew, so many things happening. It's so late. I hope that uh, y'all will uh, bear with me and have a chance to join in for our one scholarship a day for today. I hope that y'all get to come in. And uh, if you're coming in for one scholarship a day, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today on one scholarship a day. How are y'all doing? The room is so late today, right? It's so late because... Um, I had like an interview to do so I finished that late and yeah but at, at the end of the day we are gonna have it we are gonna have it okay I'm going to schedule out the rest of the one such that it's not it's not flip-flop okay <laughs> good morning good afternoon everybody good evening wherever you all are welcome 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 to one scholarship a day I'm excited to have it's the start of a new week. It's the start of a new week. How are y'all doing? Have you were y'all applying for scholarships over the weekend? How how was your weekend? I hope y'all uh y'all have been uh applying. Wow, good evening. Uh this is good evening from Laos. Oh my goodness, wow. It's good to have you here. Good evening from Laos. Wow. It's nice to have you here. It's good to have you here. It's good to have someone from Laos here. Um I'm 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 happy to have people that far mm -hmm. here. All right, we have Brown is here. We have uh, Mahmoud is here. Okay, all right. We have some people who are joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to One Scholarship a Day. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? If you're joining in just now, uh, grab a seat, sit down, get some popcorn, get a pen and a paper. Uh, we are going to talk about our One Scholarship for today. And it's interesting. Uh, our scholarship for today is very interesting. So um, I hope that y'all are going to find some value in this scholarship that we are going to talk about today. I hope that y'all are going to uh, plan to apply for it. And as I always say, sometimes the scholarship is not for you. And if it is not for you, please do well to be a vessel. Spread the information to a friend, a brother, a sister, an auntie, an uncle, someone in your local church, someone in your local community, some kid in your neighborhood, some kid on the block. Tell them about the scholarship. Let them apply for it because sometimes the scholarship is not for you, okay? Alrighty, let us get it started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. My name is Sylvie and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes, through workshops and most recently through standalone services, which I'm extremely excited about because what we are doing in the standalone services is that you do not apply for any scholarship without first figuring out what scholarships are you going to apply for? So we help you in searching for scholarships for you, scholarships that will sell you as a better uh, scholarship candidate, scholarships where you can compete and be better at that particular competition because at the end of the day, a scholarship is a competition, you guys. You have to put your best foot forward and everyone is trying to get it. So you need to make sure that you put your best foot forward by first choosing good scholarships for yourself. The second thing is a research proposal. We help you with writing your research proposal because at the end, of the day masters phd students you all already know there is no scholarship that you apply for without submitting a research proposal you need to submit your research proposal okay so when you submit your research proposal we help you all in figuring out how to write your research proposal how to go about writing your research proposal what are the things you should put in it how should you think about research proposals we help you step by step towards making sure you have a good enough research proposal the other thing that we help you with is we help you in writing your personal statements no scholarships comes by without people asking you on the essays like why should we choose you for this scholarship why are you a good candidate right so they always ask those questions so we have someone on our team who is like an expert in it she's going to help you in writing your essays and also we have someone who works with cvs your cvs tell your story from beginning till the end and it's important that you have a very robust cv a robust research proposal you pick the right scholarships and you have very good essays when you apply for any scholarship and when you do that when you do that when you have that good enough application documents you are a good 
competition you stand a better chance of competing in this world of scholarships because as i said at the end of the day it's competition so feel free go to the website learn how to get a scholarship.com look at all our services if you're interested in it feel free to reach out to us and we are going to be happy happy willing and able to work with you okay Alrighty, so everyone, if you do not know, I have a YouTube channel. Yes, yes, yes. If you do not know, know that today on the YouTube channel, I curate scholarships for international students. When we do one scholarship a day, sometimes our scholarships are fully funded. Sometimes they are partially funded. Sometimes they are masters. Sometimes they are PhD. It waxes and wanes, right? But most times when you go to the YouTube channel, I make sure that I organize everything really pretty and nice for you all to check it out. I put like in one category fully funded master scholarships fully funded bachelor scholarships fully funded phd scholarships i'm a huge advocate for scholarships i got all my studies paid for so because of that i advocate for people to search for fully funded scholarship you can get it you guys i went through it got all my studies paid for so i know that you all can get it also so definitely go to the youtube channel check it out subscribe to the channel turn the notifications on so that when i post a video you get informed ah can you oh wait 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 wait. what is going on here can you hear me can i hope everyone can hear me i hope everyone can hear me ruth can you hear me yes um, you're audible it's just that i thought my mic was mute and i said something sorry all Can right okay okay all right sounds good so um normally on one scholarship a day if you're new here welcome thank you for joining us on one scholarship a day our rules of engagement are simple i'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship because you need the link to apply to the scholarship right so i'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship on my twitter so the first rule of engagement follow me on twitter if you don't follow me on twitter because that is where you're going to find the link to the scholarship you need the link in order to apply and then the second thing because sometimes we all can get lost in this world wide web i take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and i put it in my instagram stories and on the scholarship prep academy page on instagram so when you go there do what to follow me on instagram check the stories as well as follow the scholarship prep academy page and there you can always come back to check to make sure that you are on the right website you need the link and you need to be on the right website you guys alrighty let's get to our scholarship for today i'm excited about it i'm excited about it it's a scholarship to the uk it's a scholarship to the UK and it is for master students from low, uh, low or middle income Commonwealth countries. Okay. 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 I'm excited that our scholarship today is not Sweden. You all know how we've been having tons and tons of scholarships throughout this time to Sweden, to Sweden. One of the reasons why I'm actually late for our session today is because when I was searching for scholarships to come and talk to you all today about, I kept finding scholarships to Sweden and I was like, no, 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 I refuse to bring any more scholarships to Sweden. I think I'm going to do like a compilation of 2023, 2024, uh, 2022, 2023 scholarships to Sweden because it's so many, so many scholarships to Sweden, you guys. I hope you all are, you all are going to be applying for all of those scholarships, okay? So our scholarship today is to the UK. Our scholarship today is to the UK. And um, they are actually, it's like some kind of a, a partnership program. So this is the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarships, okay? This is the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarships for applicants from low or middle income countries, okay? The deadline for this scholarship is the 10th of January. 10th of January, 10th of January. So you have some time. Not a lot because we are in, today is what? Wait, 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 watch that, okay. <laughs> i'm looking for my watch uh today is uh yeah it's already past midnight here i'm in tokyo you guys so uh i'm checking the the, the date the date and it's already past midnight anywho yes you have just like a month like uh about a month plus ish to get all your documents ready when you apply for the scholarship right so you do not have a lot of time to get through everything to apply for the scholarship okay january 10th is not that far away we are already gearing to the end of the month this is the end of november already and it's going to be december so you have like one month to get all your documents ready and apply for this particular scholarship okay so it says that it is aimed at students who are committed to creating change in their communities the scholarships are life-changing opportunities 
opportunity to experience a new country, a culture, to broaden horizons and to build a global network that will last a lifetime. Through cultural exchange and academic collaboration, Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth scholars help bring a positive change and find solutions to the shared challenges that we face. What you when you read this introduction, what it tells you is the kind of the goal of the scholarship. And I always tell you that it's important to focus on the goal of the scholarship provider because I get it. You want your studies paid for. You want that they should pro give you the money to to go study in this foreign country or whatever. But also at the end of the day, the scholarship provider also has a goal to achieve, right? Don't just go screaming, give me, give me, give me. You also have to figure out how do I position myself in a way where I can help the scholarship provider achieve his or her goal. In this case, how can I help the Commonwealth, uh, the uh, Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship Program? How can I help them achieve their goal? So when you're able to position yourself where you help them achieve your goal as well as you achieve your goal, then that is a win-win for both parties. And you want to position yourself in a place where you are providing value to the scholarship provider as well as value for yourself don't shortchange yourself and be like okay i'm going to give everything to the scholarship provider and nothing for me don't do that just make sure that you find a sweet spot a good balance between what you want to achieve as getting your study paid for as well as helping them uh, get whatever it is that they want okay so what is it that they want they are trying to uh, create that committed to creating change in communities okay so what is your research proposal about how are you helping achieve this this all of this is extremely important all right so let's get this in. applications are open right now applications are open and they have various countries because it says low and middle income countries those are the countries that they are targeting so you have those from Bangladesh Eswatini Ghana, the West Indies, uh, Kenya, uh, they have an office in Nairobi, Malaysia, Mauritius, Pakistan, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda. So those are the places that they are targeting. They are actually going to be doing some kind of like a partnership with these universities and students are getting, going to get to study in these places, okay? So let's get to the money. Let us get to the money. You all know that my question is always, where the money at? Where the money resides? Where the money resides? How much are we talking about, right? So the benefits of this scholarship. So you're going to get a fully funded tuition fee. So all your tuition is going to be paid for. You're going to have your living expenses uh, and your allowance. You're going to be given like uh, your uh, a stipend for your living expenses during the entire duration of the scholarship. You're going to have a return economy flights like to and fro from your country. And you're going to have an arrival allowance. Oh, wow. This is this this one is new. I've never heard of an arrival allowance. So when you're just getting to the country where you want to study, at, they're going to give you some allowance. Okay. This is interesting. And then research support. So they're going to give you some support to guide, to help you throughout your research. Okay. That's amazing. So now let's get to the part where it gets tricky, where people get eliminated. Okay. Because that's how the game goes. Not everyone can get there. It's not for everybody. Okay. Let's go to eligibility. So apply first. You must be a citizen, of course, from all of those uh, those countries. Um, also, you must uh, to apply. You must be a citizen, or you may you, you can actually hold a refugee status. I remember working with some students who had refugee status some time ago because the refugee status thing is very is very complicated so if you are someone who has a refugee status there are ways that you can apply to those scholarships and scholarships like the commonwealth they really cater to students who have these refugee status and it's crazy because you have this status but it's not like you belong you're, you're you're from a particular country but because you have it you don't have the passport of that country right so sometimes it becomes really tricky for refugee students so each time i find some refugee students i always try to give them as many tips as possible to apply for scholarships okay all right or oh, a commonwealth country other than that the country other than the country that is hosting the award i already listed to you all the countries that are hosting the award right those are the countries they have different universities with different programs that are going to be hosted so they have tons of programs that are offered throughout all of these universities so your job is to go there check for your major and then see which of the countries would you like to go study at okay that's extremely important you must have completed an undergraduate degree with a uh, uh, two to one ratio equivalent level. I think this is a uh, second class 
honors second class honors i think upper division two 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 rich uh two is to one i think it's the second class honors this is the british way of of of, of classifying where they have these two two is to one applicants must apply for a qe cs award in a country other than the, their home country okay so you need to go study in some you need to go study somewhere else if, if, even if you are a student who is applying from rwanda yes rwanda is going to be hosting some students don't apply to study you have to go study in some other country because they are trying to bridge these culture things try to create some kind of a cross-cultural understanding between countries right so you definitely know that you have to go you live in a foreign country you study there okay and then there's no upper age limit to be eligible for the award oh this is interesting this is pretty interesting because you all already know so many scholarships they always have an have a, like an age limit right like the one that looking for students from a particular age born born after this this year they always say that right but here it doesn't matter that's good and then please note universities may have their own specific eligibility requirements for admissions of course because you all are going to be going to study in various universities throughout all of these countries okay so the things to make sure that you have when you're going to be applying for the scholarship check your eligibility check your personal details you need all of those things your academic and employment record you have to provide all of that and then you have to provide the course that you're going to study at a university what's your major they have tons of majors maybe if we have some time maybe i can go back and list you all some majors but maybe not we don't have a lot of time <laughs> and then um you have to of course uh, provide like your statements for example recommendation letters i hope you have professors who are going to be giving you all those recommendation letters as well as your personal statements and why you're applying for the scholarship okay why are you a good candidate why should they take you why why should they bother about giving you all of this money all of this money why should they give you and then you have to upload all the supporting documents that are requested okay all righty so that is our scholarship for today 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 that is our scholarship for today uh, it's the Commonwealth, the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarships. The Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarships. This is a scholarship for master students who want to go study in different, they have different countries that they are working in partnership with. And this scholarship is for students who will go and study in all of those countries. Alrighty, so the rules of engagement apply. I'm going to now go ahead and tweet out a link to the scholarship. And as I tweet out the link to the scholarship, this is a good time. This is a good time. This is a good time for those on Clubhouse. If you're on Clubhouse, you want to chit chat, raise your hand, feel free. Come up on stage. Let's chit chat for a bit. Those on Instagram, those on Facebook, feel free to put your comments, put your questions or anything in the comment section and I am going to respond to all of your questions. Clubhouse, feel free to raise your hand, come up on stage, let us chit chat for a bit while I tweet out the link to the scholarship, okay? Because you all need the link to the scholarship. So while I tweet out the link to the scholarship, uh, you can come up, let us chit chat for a bit while I tweet it out, okay? Alrighty, let's see. The Queen Elizabeth uh, scholarship. Oh, let me see. Mm, All righty. Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Global Scholarship. Okay, there's the link here. Okay. All righty. Okay. Tweet. All righty. I've tweeted out a link to the scholarship, you guys. I have tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. So y'all definitely go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. Like the tweet. Retweet the tweet. Check it out. Share it within. Share it uh, amongst those in your in your network. Tell them about the scholarship. Let them check it out. See if they're interested in applying for it. Okay. No one on Clubhouse raised their hand, so I assume that everyone is good. On Clubhouse, on Facebook, Instagram, no one put a question in the comment section. So I assume that everyone is good. Remember, our scholarship for today is the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarships. It's fully funded for international students to go study in different parts of the world, okay? Thank you all so much for joining me on here today. My name is Sylvie. I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. It is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one one classes through workshops and most recently through standalone services we help you pick out the best scholarships for you we help you figure out your research proposal it's a process we help you write your cv and we help you write your personal statements remember you're not going to come and give it to us and we do it for you no 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 it's a working process we need to get into your brain see what is going on there figure out the good things sort out the bad things and make sure that you submit a compelling application for whatever scholarship you apply for so feel free to go to the website learn how to get a scholarship.com check out 
our services i'll reach out to us in case you have any questions thank you all so much for joining me i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow cheers everybody good night it's night here i'm sure it's different times good morning good afternoon good night wherever you are okay it's night here let me get to bed see y'all tomorrow bye everybody bye <laughs> bye ruth